If you run a business, you make decisions all day, every day. And with that amount of output, you're gonna get a lot right and you're also gonna screw some up. I'm gonna give you three strategies to increase the chances of making good, sound decisions and decrease the chances of making decisions that result in more stress or chaos. Here's the first one. We tend to make good decisions when we're in a good mood and bad decisions when we're in a bad mood. Greg Brenneman is a famous turnaround CEO that developed a process for coming into messy, massively failing companies and turning them around. And in his book, Right Away and All at Once, he talked about the importance of your mood in your decision-making process. And he described your mood like an elevator. And the highest level on the elevator is gratitude. And maybe when you're at a point when you're at the, the level of frustration or chaos or stress, said one of the ways to get out of that is the mid-level of the elevator, which is curiosity. So when you're tempted to be frustrated with something or someone, and you're making decisions about what to do about this or how to get out of a particular situation, turn that frustration into curiosity. You can ask yourself questions like, I wonder what caused this problem? What could I have done better? I wonder what led that other person to that conclusion. And bringing yourself up out of frustration into curiosity allows you to then keep going to a place of gratitude where you're better equipped to make sound decisions. Here's number two. Add another option to explore simultaneously. The Harvard Business Review cited a study that said, when people have multiple options to explore at the same time, they're 22% more likely to make the right decision than if they'd explored one option in isolation. So in other words, if you're making strategic decisions in your business and you and your leadership team are asking yourselves, should we do this thing, yes or no? If instead you say, well, should we do A or B or no? Having a point of comparison will help you better weigh the option and it might expose some biases or some other information that you otherwise might have missed. Number three, poke holes in your own decision and invite other people you trust to do the same. Think critically about all the reasons why the decision you want to make might be wrong. Either it'll reinforce the decision and you'll have more confidence in it or you'll uncover something that you missed. Now doing that on your own is valuable. Doing it with your leadership team when it comes to making strategic business decisions is even more critical. If everyone around you is pretty much in agreement with whatever you think, there's a good chance you're missing something as a leadership team. And that's why I recommend that leadership teams consistently engage in a healthy debate and challenge each other's ideas and even their own ideas. Remember, the absence of conflict does not indicate agreement or buy-in on your decision. On the other hand, the absence of conflict might mean apathy or lack of creativity, or they're just not engaging their own brain in the process, they're defaulting to yours. Just a couple weeks ago, I was facilitating a strategic planning session with an executive team, and they all pretty quickly came to a decision on a particular area of their strategy. And it was kind of, you know, done and dusted, ready to move on, when one person spoke up and said, well, have we really taken this into consideration? And they all kind of paused and then they dug in. And within about 10 minutes or so, they realized that the decision they were about to make wasn't correct. There was a lot of things they hadn't thought through and they actually ended up changing courses as a result of one person having the courage to challenge assumptions in their decision-making process. So there's three strategies to help you make better decisions in your business. If you found this video helpful, remember to like it and even share it with someone else. Thanks for watching.